genetics. There's no question that there is a genetic component in how we age. Uh, at least once a week, there's a patient that I open the chart that says 75, and I have to take a second look, and she says, yeah, my mother is also 95, she looks really good. It's been well proven that even daughters that don't look like their mothers, they follow the same pattern of aging, despite the lack of resemblance. And now, uh, for everyone else, there's lifty, but some of us win the genetic lottery. As far as environment, right, I hear every day, my patients in their 60s and 70s, they talk about how, about the time that sunscreen and sun protection was not a thing, and they would sunbathe, and now they feel like they have to live with signs of aging. They don't even ask for it. They just they have accepted life that this is what I did when I was you know, at a certain age, and now this is the price I pay. And that's not true, because now with the technologies today, we can reverse signs, the signs of aging. And uh, sun damage is not the only environmental factor. Just living in Southern California, uh, the, the smoking, inhalation, and UV radiation, these are all uh, environmental factors that can uh, cause or expedite aging of the skin. Next slide.